Roguelike games, an ever-expanded game genre since, well, 1980? Using the release of the original Rogue as a reference, it's one of the longest-running genres in gaming. I think. Pretty sure. But why has it stuck around for so long? Why does this old idea of a genre still have hundreds of installments every year? And more importantly, why do people, like me, keep buying games over and over again? You'd really think we'd get tired of it by now. And no, it's not because we like suffering doing the same thing over and over again. For the most part. But there are plenty other reasons why people still like these games, and that's what we're going to be going over. Starting with the most simple reason of all, replayability and randomness. Like one popular game that came out in 2012 taught us, Insanity. Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, oh, expecting shit. shit to change. But is it truly insane? Well, we are doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. But each game is different. It's not the fact that what we're doing is different, it's what the game is doing is different. No two games are exactly the same because, you know, procedural generation. So I think us roguelike players are free from the definition of insanity. At least by Far Cry standards. But that randomness is one of the key lures of roguelikes. You can play the game over and over and over and over and over and over again, and you'd likely never have the same game two times in a row, or any time ever, really. But that's what keeps making it so fresh and new each time you play it. There's so many new items to discover, so many secrets to unlock, so it feels good to keep playing the game over and over again. You know, completionist brain go burr. The feeling of unlocking a new thing is always nice. I know the first time playing The Binding of Isaac, unlocking Mom's heart, and of course, Small Rock fucking love small rock but getting unlocks like that are always very rewarding and enjoyable it's always nice to find new things and discover new places but with unlocks and finding new things one must improve their own abilities and that gets us to the next point personal growth though this isn't exactly exclusive to roguelike games it doesn't change the fact that's a big draw we all know when you start a new roguelike and you run to that one boss that absolutely bodies you fucking decimating you into the ground like Yes, I'm looking at you, Judge Ball. The bloat. Fucking gremlin knob. Fucking hate you. Fucking kills my Slay the Spire runs every time. I just want to build shivs. Is that so much to ask? Anyways, I digress. Well, we all have those moments where we get decimated and, are, and question our life choices. But the fun thing about roguelikes is you know you will encounter the same enemies over and over again. Though it might be random with the generation, we all know we'll run into those enemies one way or another. And this will let you, well, get good. And, you know, have a lot of chances to beat them. And once you do, you'll be able to realize, ah, yes, I have gotten good at this game. And there's nothing quite like using the knowledge you learn and, you know, the skills that you acquire to completely annihilate every enemy in your path, invalidating the game. And, you know, speaking of invalidating, Let's talk about that. Roguelikes have little restrictions. You know, as a well-played roguelike player, roguelikes are known for letting players do whatever the hell they want. And that's one of the best parts about roguelikes. Most games have a upper limit of what a player can do, you know, to keep things fair and balanced and keep the game from breaking. You don't want to have the player just ruin your game, right? 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 Well roguelikes a lot of roguelikes say screw it screw it let the player do whatever they want if they could walk into a room and evaporate everything inside screw it why not if the player wants to literally phase through walls because of how fast they're going why not just, just go ahead they don't limit you it's all up to the items you find in your run and you know sometimes you get crazy combos that completely invalidate the game but that's the joy of it being able to just decimate everything in your path i mean Let's all be honest, it's not a good run of Binding of Isaac if you can't one-shot the Hush. Or in RoboQuest if you can't look at Iris and immediately explode him into a second phase. Ah, uh, good times. But yeah, I mean, pretty cut and dry, but that's the main reason most people play roguelikes, at least for me. Just being able to have the no restrictions, have your own sense of personal growth, and just being able to do the same thing over and over again without being labeled as insane pretty nice it's not just because we want to suffer again for the most part it might be a little bit but 
between not knowing what you're gonna get each time and lack of restrictions everything i think that's more of the draw i'm not insane i, I don't like suffering i promise I don't open up Hades, even though Hades isn't that crazy. I don't open up the Binding of Isaac and be like, ah, yes, I'm gonna play the Lost and wanna die. Okay, I've done that a couple times, but that's between you and me. But anyways, that's why people should play roguelikes. And I think that's why if a random person here hasn't played roguelikes yet, you should, you should go check some out, you know? Hades is a good one to start with. It's not too crazy. It's not bad. But you don't get as much freedom in it. It's sort of balanced with what you can do. But besides that, if you want to know a couple good roguelike games, I've made a couple reviews of some of my favorites. And I think you should take a look. Uh, my favorites being Gunfire Reborn, RoboQuest, stuff like that. Which, uh, Gunfire Reborn is actually about to get an expansion. So if you like shooting stuff, uh, you might want to go check out this video over here to my right. It'd be pretty cool. Highly recommend it. You should check it out. It'll be a good time, I promise. Also, thank you all for watching.